In this video, I want to go over why Maurizio Pochettino is going to be the best manager for Mikhailo Modric and to elevate this player. Now, as we all know, Pochettino loves to go with a 4-2-3-1, which really is counterattacking football. You sit back, you absorb the attack, and hit them on the counterattack. That being said, this is why this is going to be an obvious choice for Mikhailo Modric to be one of the starting players for Pochettino at Chelsea. Now, as you watch this clip right here, what you're looking at is how close and how explosive this player can be. Now, we all know that he has his explosiveness, especially when he's inside his own half. And against the West Ham game here, he picks the ball outside his 18 and just runs straight forward. And again, he's attacking them so quickly that defenders have to chase back, which again makes it very difficult. Now, the end product obviously does not lead to a goal, but the fact is he's able to have that explosiveness, which you really cannot teach to any player. That's just something you're born with. Obviously, you can still work on the decision-making, and obviously he needs players around him to play better and keep up with his pace as well. And the second clip here we're looking at is the Liverpool match, where again, you see the ball played to him, and he's able to just burst down the line. And obviously he's followed here, but still this shows why this player himself can be very, very lethal for Pochettino. Now, next on the list is high pressure. Now, again, with the four, two, three, one, you are going to have your inverted wingers playing up a little bit more. Again, putting pressure on the other team. Now, as you see on this play right here, again, he's there to hit them right where they make a mistake. And he's able to obtain the ball and start dribbling towards the opponent's box again. This is something that, again, Pochettino is going to absolutely just thrive and have a player such as this because having someone that quick and, again, putting that much pressure on an opponent is always difficult for any player, especially if you don't know how fast that player is going to be coming in because if you have one poor touch, you may be losing the ball out. And, again, depending on where you are in the pitch, that could be massive for any team to go on a counterattack. For Modric is the fact that he has this ability to play the ball and run off the ball. Now, this is something... Should be fairly normal for most players, but really lately for Chelsea, this has not been the case. But if you watch Modric play a ball, when he plays that pass, he's already making another run to create an opening space for his player to then play the ball back to him, which again, with his explosiveness, a lot of times defenders are going to have a hard time keeping up with him. So if he can do a one-two pass very, very quickly, he can create that space to run down the side or down the middle as well. Now, one of the qualities that Mikhailo Modric has to offer is the capability of dribbling in tight spaces. Now, we all remember Prime Hazard being able to dribble all over the pitch and again, creating the chances. Now, I'm not going to compare Mikhailo Modric to Hazard because I think that's a disgrace to Hazard. But still, when you're watching this clip right here against Liverpool, you're already seeing the little sparks of what this player can actually do inside the box. And when he has opponents very close by him, that he's able to make these quick touches, quick cuts, and again, get past defenders. Now, obviously, the result was still not there, but still, you're seeing what this player is capable of doing. And I think Pochettino will also acknowledge this and keep working on this player because, like I said, the skills that this guy has is not something you can actually train into someone, but making him train on how he finishes, that is something you can easily work on. And Pochettino will be able to help him out with that and better decision making. And again, this player is so young, he needs someone to just help him go in the right direction. And Pochettino, if given the time with this player, I think can really make him into one of the stars in the Premier League. Now, again, I'm not going to go and say he's going to win the Ballon d'Or or anything like that, but still, he has the capability of being one of the best players in the Premier League. It may not be next season, but if you give him more and more time to, again, work on a Pochettino, this itself could just be a magical management player type system that really Mikhailo Modric could really thrive under. Now, there are issues with Mikhail Modric, which we all know players have their weaknesses. The thing with him right now is his finishing. Now, finishing itself is something that Pochettino will obviously have to work on with Mikhail Modric. Now, finishing itself, again, is going to take some time, and it also comes with confidence. But once he finds that confidence, which hopefully Pochettino can thrive under him and get that for him, this will make him such a unique player because, as we know, he has the capability of dribbling in tight spaces. As we watch this clip here against Liverpool, you see him working in and out, small touches but real quick touches and quick cuts to get past the fence now obviously like i said the final third the finishing act right there is not there but still he has the capability of doing it and same with that you're also seeing him run onto the ball as well that's played to him now again the finishing's not there but in time if he can work on this he will get that finishing touch which again will ignite this player and this team which pochettino will be able to do 
given the time because we all know how well he works with the younger players to again get the best out of him and especially with the 4-2-3-1 the counter-attacking style type football this itself is going to help Mikhailo Modric be the player that he was brought into Chelsea to be so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button and subscribe down below I greatly appreciate it and also comment down below what you think about Mikhailo Modric and how you think the rest of his career is going to go at Chelsea I'll see you in our next video